Good morning Greenleaf, it's Mrs Soulard and it's week three of my recorded messages to you. I can't believe last week went so quickly. The weather wasn't as good was it as the previous weeks but I'm sure that you all managed to enjoy a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of fresh air at some point as well. For those of you who are celebrating Ramadan at the moment, we're thinking of you all. We know it can be quite tough but I'm sure that you're um, making the most of it. I also wanted to mention school reports because I didn't mention them last week, I forgot. Hopefully you've all managed to receive your report by now. If anybody didn't see their report or your mummies or daddies didn't see the report, please do let us know because we did send them out the week before last. And I hope you all really enjoyed the comments from the teachers. The teachers enjoyed writing them and were really pleased with the progress that you'd made. So please do take a look at those and make sure that you're thinking about the next steps which are at the bottom of those reports really important for when we think about coming back to school. We haven't had a date yet for coming back to school. We still don't know what the arrangements are going to be, but we are waiting for any announcements. And as soon as we know, we will let you know as well. We need to make sure it's safe for you and safe for the teachers. Now this week, I've been looking at those children who've been using Accelerated Reader regularly. And I've been so impressed that some of the children who hadn't been reading up until last week have now really taken on board my message and have been reading a lot. So I'm going to read you the names of those children. So first of all, in Spruce, we've got Romario, Alja, Mariam, Rakea, and Aisha. Well done to them. In Rowan, we've got Neil, Thanushka and Hadda. Well done. In Maple, we've got Sarah, Kyle and Thomas. In Hawthorne, we've got Emmanuel and Evie. In Sycamore, we've got Tanzila and um, Rais and Yusuf, Mikhail and Alicia. Well done. Also in Sycamore, we've got Derek and Zara and Mariam. A great week for Sycamore last week. In Larch, we've got Karish, Kieran, Manib, Zain and Amy. And in Willow, we've got Bilal, Ezekiel and Angel. And in Cedar, we've got Zarel. So well done to everybody in those classes. Now, last week, the teachers also decided that they were going to reintroduce digitally from a distance Star of the Week. So we've got some Stars of the Week to announce from last week. You will find your mention on your website pages, on the class pages. So do have a look. In reception, it was Azan, Celia, Emmy and Harris. In year one, it was Hamza, Abidjan, Zoya, and Eliza. In year two, it was Diana, Priya, Abdul Hadi, and Nikisha. In year three, it was Sarah, um, Zara, Georgie, Amy, Maha, and Aidan. In year four, it was Frankie and Jarvis. In year five, it was Abdullah and Zarel. And in year six, it was Sadia, Charlotte, Evie, and Anastasia. We are so proud of all of you. You are working incredibly hard in very difficult circumstances. Please remember to say thank you, a big thank you to the adults at home who are helping you as well, because it's really not easy for them either. Make sure that you're listening to them and doing what they tell you to do. I know that's not always easy either, but listen to your adults, do what they're telling you to do and make life a bit easier for everybody. We're looking forward to some amazing work again this week. The teachers have updated the website again yesterday, so there's lots of new activities and resources there for you. Do have a look, have a good week, and I'll speak to you next week. Bye-bye.